Good morning, algebra classes. We're going to start day one of unit 3D on writing linear functions. Last unit, we graphed them from the equation. This unit, we're going to go from the graph back to the equation. And if you remember, what we needed was two pieces. We need the M number and we need the B number. So an example of the equation would be Y equals 3X plus 1. The M would be the 3, and the B would be the 1. And what M stands for, we said, is the slope. And what we remember that to be is Y minus Y over X minus X. And that's what B is, is the Y intercept, or where it crosses the Y axis. So let's start with our very first one. We look at example one, it says M is 3. That's very valuable. There's one of our pieces. And B is the place where the line crosses the y-axis. And that's right here. And that's the origin 0. That would be negative 1. So B is negative 1. So now we put into our equation y equals. And what's our m first? 3. So we get the x. And the B is minus 1. And there's the equation of that graph right there. All right, number two, we weren't given the M, but we're given two points. But that's okay because we can find the slope. X, Y, X, Y. We're going to do Y minus Y, which is 5 minus 1 over the up over 0 minus 4. I plug that into my calculator. I get 5 minus 1 over 0 minus 4 is negative 1. There's my M. Of my first piece. Now the B again is where it crosses the y axis, right there, and it's that number 5. So again, if I plug in y equals m is negative 1, we get the x plus 5. Find the equation from the graph. All right, now a verbal description. It says slope is 1.5, the y-intercept is negative 1. Well, it tells us but which one's which. Slope is the m, y-intercept is the b. Plug into our equation, y equals 1.5x minus 1. Getting it, getting it, getting it. All right. How do we take this whole table to find out? Oh yeah, I remember, we just picked two. I'm going to pick this one and this one. And y minus y, 9 minus 12 over 4 minus 8. That's going to find the m. The m is negative 3 over negative 4 or 3. M is 3 fourths. What's the B? Hmm, how are we going to find the B? Well, if we go up to this graph example up here, the B is the Y value when X equals 0. If I go down here, the Y value where X equals 0 is this one right here. And the Y value is 6. Now I have my two pieces. Y equals 3 fourths x plus 6. Writing the equation from the graph or the verbal description. Alright, let's go. We got two more points. We did it before. We can plot them if we want to. We don't have to. We can label these x, y, x, y. Let's find m. Negative 5 minus negative 3 over 0 minus 6. Negative 5 minus a negative 3 over negative 0 minus 6. Using our calculator, I get 1 over 3. The B again is where the x is 0. 
negative 5. I can plug it into my equation now. Y equals M is 1 third. We get the X. And the B is a minus 5. Now I can plot these two points. Draw a line. Let's do it. 0, negative 5 is the first point. Don't go over, just go down. Over 6, down 3. Get to that line right there. And find the equation of. And that slope is up 1 over 3, and the y-intercept is negative 5. That's perfect. All right, this time I'm going to plot them first. I'm going to label them x, y, x, y, because we're going to need the slope in a minute. 8, negative 2, over 8, down 2, 4, negative 4, over 4, and down 4. I can find the equation of this line right here. And this time I'm going to get the y-intercept from a graph instead of from the 0 x value. All right, y minus y, x minus x, we do that a lot. Negative 2 minus negative 4, 8 minus 4, what's m? m equals 1 over 2. The b, again, is the y-intercept. Where does that line cross the y-axis? Right there at negative 6. So the equation, y equals one half, we get the x minus six. All right, so we're moving from graph to equation using m and b. Tomorrow we're going to do a different way of finding equations. Um, another calculator method you're going to like, it's using what's called the table function and some statistics actually. So great job today guys. Well done. Now you can do Day one's classwork. Have a great rest of your day.